Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's been a long time coming but this is a video I think we've wanted to film for a long time. So this month actually marks our one year anniversary of living in the van full time. And if you watched our van life update uh, video that we put out a couple of weeks ago, you will see that we have gone through a bit of a change. So we're not actually traveling full time in the van anymore, but we are still living in it full time. So we're back in Sydney and we're back working um, while still living in the van with Flynn. So we've been through a lot of adjustments, but being back in Sydney actually has enabled us to, to have the time and to have some of the resources that we didn't have when we were traveling to do a few updates to the van that we have wanted to do almost since we first moved in. So obviously after being in the van for a year, there are definitely areas that we want to improve on, things we want to change. So this video I thought we'd go through and kind of show you what we are going to change, things we're going to update. Um, not massive things, but things we just think will make living in the van a little bit more comfortable, but also just refresh everything. Things like the paintwork, um, updating that and just give it a bit of a different look and feel. Um, yeah, just change things up. So I'll take you through and show you what we are going to change, what we are going to update. And yeah, hopefully you find it in interesting. So welcome to Van Build 2.0. So excuse the mess of everything, obviously we're just going through kind of like emptying everything out and getting it ready to do a bit more renovation. So first thing that's quite obvious is our top drawer, our kitchen drawer has broken. <laughs> so after living in the van for over a year, this happened literally last week. Um, this latch failed, again the first time any one of these latches has failed in over a year and the whole drawer came out everything went all over the floor when we were driving and the front broke off so that is the first and biggest thing that cam has to fix so we can have our kitchen drawer back so while we're in the kitchen i thought i'd talk you through the cabinets so these cabinets cam made the door covers cam made with the leftover paneling when we were building the van um, in hindsight we wanted to change them the hinges are not quite right for this type of wood, which means every time we open and shut them, it makes this sound. And it's just irritating us. These side hinges that keep everything open are amazing and we love it. So we are just gonna change the fronts of all four cabinets along this side of the van um, and we're gonna go white. So again, that is something else that we have decided to change. We have loved the look and feel of the van, but we want a refresh. We just want to update everything. So all the woodwork you see here, we're now going to paint white. We're definitely going to keep accents of the woodwork throughout. I think we'll keep the bookshelf and everything natural, but we're just going to refresh everything Give, give everything a coat of paint, paint the ceilings. We just want everything to be nice and fresh. So again, excuse the huge mess that we've got going on at the moment. The other thing that we are gonna fix, and we're not sure how, is our table. So one of the reasons we got this table, this is the Lagoon or Lagoon table leg here. So the table slides in and out and it's been amazing being on the road, being able to just tuck it away when we want it and etc. However, as you can see, it's so uneven and we've actually been a bit disappointed with the product and look how wobbly it is now. So there's a fault in there or something like that or something's broken. We're just really disappointed with it and we're just trying to figure out our options of how to fix that and what we're gonna fix it with. Yeah, so the, so the whole point of having the lagoon or lagoon table leg was so that we didn't have to have something permanently in the floor. So we really like the concept of being able to move the table out of the way um, so that we can still have our open sitting area and we do use it. It's just in this product, unfortunately, we're a bit disappointed. So we're just gonna try and figure out what our next steps are with that. The other thing I just want to quickly do is the upholstery. 
so you can see it's just so tired and stained and just a bit grotty so obviously being on the road living in the van full time we haven't had the ability to kind of take everything off soak it and wash it so we are going to take it all off soak it wash it put it back on see if it looks all right if it doesn't we'll probably I might make some more but hopefully it just comes up nice and clean again it just like I said being on the road we haven't had a chance to do that so the other thing we want to update are our insulated window covers so as you can see this is looking pretty grotty and the materials all loose and a few of the magnets have pulled out of the side so even those these have been just absolutely amazing on the road and we've loved them and we're so glad glad we've had them they just need an update I want to do it properly I kind of ran out of time um, in our first van build for doing these so definitely looking forward to doing those again getting it right and making it look amazing so this is one other area that I hope that we'll have time to update but I'm not sure and I'm not going to put too much pressure on cam to do it um, but this area is where we sit it's our lounge area where we sit in the evenings and it's an area we just didn't think we would need and a like low light or a down light for evening so it would be amazing to have lights along here as you can see I've kind of strung fairy lights along there and so we use them in the evening which is great but it would be nice to have some kind of like pendant light or something nice down there so I might see if I can convince Cam to put like a nice light inside here but we'll see how I go and how much time we have so they're the main things that we want to update in the van we are staying at my parents while they're away so thanks to them we are able to kind of use the tools and update a few of these things while we're here otherwise we definitely wouldn't be able to kind of like do these while we're living in the van it's obviously a lot harder um, so yeah we'll definitely kind of show you how we go show you all the updates that we make along the way and yeah you'll be able to see what it looks like before and after so just in regards to the table legs if you do have any recommendations we would love to hear from you because that's the only thing we're not quite sure about say goodbye to our old van look and yeah we're excited to bring you a new fresh look It's crazy how you don't notice how dirty things are until you completely strip everything back. So, so grateful that we've got this opportunity to absolutely just give everything a refresh. Yeah, we're really excited to get started. So you can see Cam's taken off the old overhead cupboard doors so that he can start building the new ones. You can see here, this is where our mirror was and how faded and how dark all the woods got since we've been in the van for over a year. So again, really excited to get this all refreshed. Okay, it's so late at night, but I thought I'd just do a quick update of our new covered doors that Cam's done. They're looking so amazing. I last night finished doing the edges. So in the same way we did for the drawers and doors in our kitchen, I used the iron-on tape to go along the edges and the top just to make sure it's all nice and neat. And Cam has put in these super locking hinges to make sure everything will stay in place as we're driving. The last thing we have to do is just put some handles all the way along, but I'm just loving the feel of it. It's already looking so much lighter and brighter. Really happy with how it's turned out. Just finished doing the first coat of paint on a couple of the ends in the van. I'm so glad that we've decided to do this. I think it will look really good. I'm going to leave the trim natural. You can kind of get an idea for what it's going to look like here. So happy that we've done it. I think it's just going to brighten up the whole van. But that's it for tonight. So we'll update you as soon as we're a bit further along. Just thought I'd do another quick update, show you how everything's looking. This is our bathroom door, now with two coats of paint on it. Really, really, I'm actually so happy with how it's turned out and I love the contrast of leaving the trim natural. So I'm now painting our toiletries door and the spices 
doors that go on here. There's a quick shot for those of you that haven't seen inside. So this was just in the cavity of our wall uh, when Cam built the shower. We've actually utilized the space and all our toiletries and spices go in there. So Cam's put all the handles onto our doors and the best part is... Soft open and they don't make a sound. Absolutely love it and he also had he also had some spare leftover timber so we've changed the front of our electrical cupboard as well. Yay! So as you can see it's really late at night. I'm gonna sign off our van build update this video here um, and we'll kind of finish everything off in part two including us probably moving back into the van. Um, so yeah, so keep watching, stay tuned, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and if you do have any recommendations for our table leg, please leave a comment below, we will very much appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we'll see you soon.